Exercise 2. Complete setup for title block with attributes. Step 1. Configure the Autodesk Data Management Server. In ADMS console, start the command index block attributes. Create a new index for the block name ISO underscore title A. Disable the option extract attribute prompt when available. Step 2. Configure world behavior property mapping. Start creating the first mapping for title by reading the properties from any template in the template's mechanical folder. Select the file property, gen title this one, to create the primary mapping. Set create equals true. Select the index block property iso underscore title a dot gen title this one to create another mapping. We establish two mappings. The primary mappings is enough for all files handled by data standard for AutoCAD. It writes values of file properties to equally named attributes of registered block definitions. In other words, Data standard writes the values of the file properties gen title des1, des2 to the attributes gen title des1, des2 of block definition iso underscore title a if it finds an instance in the drawing. The secondary mapping iso underscore title a gen title des1 is for workflows related to legacy files that may not yet have existing file properties but the block with attributes only. This mapping also synchronizes properties directly with the title block in the workflows that don't involve the full AutoCAD application and data standard add-in transferring the values. These workflows are Vault Copy Design, Vault Data Standard New Stand File, or Property Synchronization Performed by Job Processor. Repeat Step 2 for two more properties, Description and Part Number. Step 3. Configure data standard for AutoCAD blog attributes. Open the VDS configuration file. CAD configuration AutoCAD.cfg. The node title block already contains the definition name ISO underscore title A. Copy the file to the customization folder location first. Then open and edit from this location before adding your custom block name. CAD.custom configuration AutoCAD CFG. Start AutoCAD and create a new file using one of the mechanical templates. Press Save. Looking at the property name Gen Title and R, we recognize that data standard for CAD does not display the Vault property name part number, but the mapped file property name instead. Cancel the new file dialog. Title and description mappings have labels as a default configuration. Open the configuration file for labeling, enusuistring.xml. Search for gen title des1, des2, and review the existing labels shown as drawing title and drawing subtitle. Change the labels and add gen title and R by part number. Press save again. Dialog is updated with overrides. Fill the metadata and create the file. The order of the rows in the dynamic properties grid can interactively change from AZ to ZA. Additionally, a custom sort order and row filter can be defined. Open the file AutoCAD Dynamic Properties XML and reorder or hide rows. The nodes result from labels, so if you run the dialog without labeling the block attribute mapping, the file may list additional rows. Example, Dynamic property gen title this one, close dynamic property. Repeat the detailed steps of mapping vault properties and labeling for the remaining file properties and block attributes gen title mat1, gen title wt, and others. Chapter 4 Summary To summarize, we learned the primary workflows of creating AutoCAD drawings how to configure the user-defined property mapping for both AutoCAD Mechanical and Vanilla AutoCAD, how to extend the data standard dialog definition for AutoCAD, 
For more information about background processes, don't forget to check the chapter 4 handout. In the next chapter, we take a look at the use of Voltata standard for Inventor, save file, edit datasheet functions.